Okay, fellow RC groupers. Let me try to explain heli uh, throttle curve here in heli mode. I'm flying my quad, my F450 in heli mode. So come over here, and this is your throttle curve. Okay, let's get back to the first one. All right. This is your first throttle curve. This switch here, three position. So in the normal mode, I have a linear curve. So 25% stick gives you 25% throttle, 50%, 50, 70, 100. Okay. Now the next curve, which will be this position, you'll notice if I give 25% stick. I now have 51.5% throttle at 25% stick, which is more than I need to hover. And that puts my thumb in a more comfortable position over here. I don't like flying up here. I don't like pushing on the rudder like that. I like pushing down here. I have more control with my thumb because I fly with my thumbs. If I flew like this, maybe it wouldn't be as much of an issue. I don't know. So, and then you can have a third position. That would be my third curve there. And you can tailor those curves to suit your battery pack, your prop combination, whatever. And make the quad fly how you want. Alright, so now we're going to take a flight. And these are the gem fan 10 by 4 7s And uh, I don't really like them too much on this quad. I prefer the DJI 10x38. <clears throat> um, I had to put a lot of weight here to balance the hubs, but they're nice and balanced now. And these things uh, fly faster than the DJI's, but they don't accelerate as well. They probably draw too much. This is a 2200 pack, a little lighter. And I'm using the uh, You'll notice the Velcro here to help hold the strap in place. It's a neat little idea I wanted to share with you guys. <clears throat> so I'm flying the uh, RC911 software, firmware, 1.5.1.2, .1 whatever. All right. And uh, got my dual rates on, on this sucker. And that right there, that's self-leveling off. Now what I notice about this firmware, before, if I push this much stick, it wouldn't do that. It's very connected. Before, it would kind of, if I push that much stick, the quad would go boom, like this. Now it doesn't do that. Now if I push a little stick, it actually moves a little. It's almost like flying with self-leveling on, but that's not. This is self-leveling on. Look how much more I have to push the stick to make it move. I'm going to turn it back off and get back into the acro mode.
Stuff leveling's on now. That's hands off flying right there. Oh, and two, with this button, you can fine adjust the middle of the throttle trim in heli mode. Oh, okay, yeah, I wanted to show you. Now, that was in the normal mode. Watch when I flick it, one switch down. The throttle increased. So now I can lower my stick. Now I'm flying at the same power setting on the quad at a lower stick setting on my transmitter. It's just uh, nitpicking. You don't need it, but it's cool. Well, that was close. <laughs> These props don't like to come down. Check out the cool geese. They just don't even care. my half Rubik maneuver up and over try to land level that's the hardest part It's a hammerhead on a quad. I think I can actually reduce some of my expo with this version. Self leveling on. And you could say I'm enjoying quads. Have a nice day.